Draw the isometric projection of frustum of a pentagonal pyramid having longer base side 40 mm and shorter base side 30 mm with its axis 70 mm long resting on its longer side base keeping one of its base side parallel to VP and nearer to the observer. So in this sum we need to draw frustum of a pentagonal pyramid. Now what do you mean by frustum of a pentagonal pyramid? All of you know about pyramid right? Let's say if you have a pentagonal pyramid like this if you cut parallel to the base you'll get one more pentagon so this is called frustum. So what we will do first we need to draw two pentagon of side 40 and 30 each right so first we will draw a helping figure uh, let's say I will draw 40 all of you know how to draw pentagon with 54 de degree method so please draw that first convert this into a box and find the center point right same way you draw another pentagon of side 30 this also you convert this into a box and find out center point now we'll start with the frustum so what we will do first we will draw box 30 30 then uh, take this length take this length cut on this side Take, take this breadth, you cut, you cut on this side, right? Length and breadth. Go up by 70. So in isometric scale, you take 70, you take 60 from here and 10 from here. You draw. Box like this, right? Now what we need to do, we need to draw pentagon down, right? So if I name them as A, B, C, D, this is A, B, C, D. This is 1, this is 2, 3, 4 and 5. Right? So we already have A, B, C, D. This is A, B, C and D. Now take A to 1, you cut here. See this, this is 1. Take B to 2, you cut here. B to 3, C, C to 4 and D to 5. Always remember, mark vertical and horizontal distance only. So you will, so when you draw, you will get the pentagon like this. Right? Now same way you have to draw pentagon up also. What we will do, we will find center of this. How, how you can find center? By PQ. This is P, this is Q, right? This distance is P and this is Q. So from here to A to S and let's say this is M. So take A to S, you cut over here. Then you go inside by Q. See this is a distance P, right? A to S. You cut over here and then you draw a line from here and you take S to M and you cut here. Now from this center you go up by how much? You go up by 70. So that is a center point. So this center point is this center point. All of you got this? Now what you need to do? Now you transfer this. Take this distance. So this will be I will say uh, T. Right? So take that distance T and you draw a line. Right? This distance is U. So take that U and draw line. Take this this point and you cut it over here. Now we know this distance. See total is how much? Total is 30. So this is 15, 15, right? So you can mark 15 here, 15 here and this point. Now we need to mark these two points. So either you draw full box or there is one more method where what you do you join this line so you'll get this distance let's say this distance is v take this v 
in your compass and you cut it over here and draw a line. Now take this distance. See this. This this one. Cut it here and cut it there. When you join, you will get pentagon like this. All of you got this? So what we did, we have transferred vertical distance only. Take this distance T, T over here. U, U over here. V, V over here. And you draw a line and again you transfer this. So always transfer linear distance. Then you join this. So this is how you will get first term of a pentagonal pyramid observer is seeing from this direction x dimensions you can do this side is 30 upper side is 30 and the lower side is 40 axis 70.